Christmas Eve day, the Christmas decrees. But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, although you are little among the thousands of Judah, from you will come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose goings forth are from old, from everlasting. Micah 5 2. Dear Redeemed, in the days of Samuel, one of the shepherds tending the sheep outside of Bethlehem was a young man named David. Bethlehem, a word meaning house of bread, was where David grew up. Many years later, the Holy Spirit, via the hand of Micah the prophet, issued the decree that Bethlehem would be the place where the Son of God would be born. This ancient one, whose goings-on are from eternity, would be born in this little town in the land of Judah. Attention, Bethlehem, city of David. It is decreed that you will be the place where the Christ will be born. Thus far, the decree of Micah. But Joseph, Mary, and the incarnate Lord God, residing in Mary's womb, are in Nazareth of Galilee. How is it going to be that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem? Behold, it came to pass in those days that a decree, dogma, went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governing Syria, and all went to be enrolled, each to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. Luke 2, verses 1 through 5. Thus far, the decree of Caesar Augustus. And so it was that while they were there, the days were fulfilled for her to be delivered, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling cloths, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were shepherds in that same country, living in the fields and keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of a great joy which will come to all the people. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. You will find a babe wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will toward men. Verses 6 through 14. Thus far the decree of the Christmas angel. And it came to pass, when the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen him, they made widely known the saying which was spoken to them concerning this child. And all who heard it marveled at what they were told by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, just as it had been told them verses 15 through 20, thus far the decree of the Christmas shepherds. Please note, dear redeemed, that this good news of a great joy, which will come to all the people, is intended for you. The Son of God came into this world for you. He was born for you. He was baptized, lived, suffered, was crucified, and died for you. He rose again from the dead for you and ascended into heaven for you. This is why God became man, and he did it for you, that you may have eternal life in place of everlasting death, that you may have salvation by his grace instead of condemnation under his law, that you may be forgiven of all your sins in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Thus far the decree of God's word to you. Prayer O Lord God, who has made this most holy night to shine with the brightness of Jesus, the true light of the world, grant, I beg you, that as I have heard these wonderful mysteries of that light on this earth, that I, my family, my friends and neighbors, and all, 
especially the beloved members of the household of faith throughout the world, may come to the fullness of those joys in heaven which are given by grace through faith in Christ. Glory be to you, O Lord God, that is, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hymn number 150, stanzas 1, 2, 3, 4, and 15. From heaven above to earth I come, to bear good news to every home. Glad tidings of great joy I bring, whereof I now will say and sing. To you this night is born a child, of Mary chosen virgin mild. This little child of lowly birth shall be the joy of all the earth. This is the Christ, our God and Lord, who in all need shall aid afford. He will himself your Savior be, from all your sins to make you free. He brings those blessings long ago, prepared by God for all below, that in his heavenly kingdom blessed, you may with us forever rest. Glory to God in highest heaven, who unto man his Son hath given, while angels sing with pious mirth, a glad new year to all the earth.